pandel behind me. Do you know crazy stuff? Pandel has a roof with a hole. Raining outside, no water on the ground. It's crazy, guys. And it was built more than 1,000 years ago. I want to get ready because uh, I have a feeling that here is fantastic. You don't find many tourists here, that is a big plus. Only locals, so you understand. Che bella! Antica Bohem is one restaurant not so far from Fontana di Trevi. We decided to come here because locals come here. When you step in, you understand why this place is special. Amazing environment. Only locals eating. Roman accent, Roman music and carbonara is made like non ones. Buon appetito! This carbonara is perfect. Pasta al dente, like my skins. They use spaghettoni. You can choose also the short one. Creaminess is fantastic. Fresh eggs, you feel from the cream. Pecorino romano and as carbonara one, pepper, full. My mouth is full of joy in this moment. Sharp, I don't think you will try it. You have to order one for you if you want. We arrive in a place, Mamma Mia, Regoli Pasticceria. Regoli Pastry Shop is where you can find the best maritozzo in Rome. What is maritozzo? It's a puffy bun bread filled with whipped cream and never miss on the table of real Romans for breakfast. Let's go to try the best maritozzo and make it something else because I saw the vetrina. It's catching me. Let's go for the testing. Però non me lo sono messo in bocca. È buono. È buono, eh? First impression. Mamma mia, I'm so excited before to start. Don't happen every day like this. Oh my god! So in the life there are things that you can explain and things that you must try. I really wish you will try this. Not so far from Termini. When in Rome, you guys, Maritozzo in Regoli Pasticceria. Madonna, so full of explosion of sweetness and nice. The best way to start the morning, like locals. I almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Char, it's your time. <laughs> Next round, I couldn't don't take this. Oh my god. I can see it from your face. <laughs> it's really good and big. Cream, the same one you find in Cannolo. Magical. So soft, so nice. Char, I need to leave you something? Yes, for sure. <laughs> okay. I have a mouth watering here. Also Romans has their own favorite pizza. Totally different than the Neapolitan one. Crunchy, thin, no crust, super ingredient. Let's jump in to try to understand why this pizza became so popular in the last few years and there is every day big line waiting for a table. Let's 
So the pizza that is more representative for us is the yellow spicy salami, which is in Italy the diavola gialla. And it's yellow because uh, we're gonna use uh, on the bottom of the on the bottom of the pizza a sauce made it with the yellow tomato sauce, which is yellow. And the fact, the, the point of the yellow is the sweetness that the red doesn't have so much like the yellow. So we become famous for the quality, but also for this group of yellow pizza, which is very representative us. So again, our uh, one of the best seller, more uh, Piccolo buco pizza is our yellow spicy salami that we sell most, almost maybe 100 every day. I just spend a lot of time on the couch with a with a computer in the front and searching only and easily the best farm in Italy. This is was my focus, my goal. Again, uh, the best tomato, the best olive oil. For the dough, we use a special salt, sea salt from Brittany, France. Like the sea give us the salt, we put the salt in the dough. No Wait. more. So our goal is the, again, the quality, the service, the passion that you need to have to arrive at one goal in this industry and the hard work that never need to be missed. Oh, Charles, look what we have here. We are going to try the best pizza in Rome following the Gambero Rosso guide. I'm really excited. This is the most representative from them. Piccolo Buco signature. Yellow tomato. You see the color? Yeah. With some spicy touch and ricotta di bufala on the top. I know there is Char behind the camera. I want to try so badly. Yes. <laughs> Look at this, mamma mia, first impression, mm. a, lot of, a lot of nice flavor in the mouth, also that little touch of the real fire oven, mm. mamma mia, what experience we had, this is a must try. While waiting for the bunch of pizza slices, we have the gourmet supli with the bal meat, with the goat cheese. The variety endless. I'm so curious to try. Woo! Look, the cheese. Put this one with the meat. Wow. Mm, I wanna try. Yeah, too much. Let's try with the cheese. Look how much cheese is there. Mm. We have a spicy peppers inside. Cover it with the mozzarella cheese. And the balance is everything. The taste, spiciness, incredible. I'm speechless. I have no words to describe what we have on the table here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six varieties of sliced pizza here at Bonchi. Grazie Gabriele Bonchi for creating this amazing spot and we can try your food. So, I'm a spicy lover as everybody knows and I'm choosing to try with anduja, with a crusty onion on top and some cheese. First bite. Mm. Molto bene. Another one. We have it with the meat inside and a spicy sauce on top with some greenish. Mm. 
I'm jealous now. <laughs> You hear the sound of the crusty dough? It's because the Gabriel Bonchi was working in agriculture. He was studying all the ingredients to make a perfect dough. So he is the king of dough. That's why these are amazing pieces of food we are trying. Mama mia, Fede. Speechless. Met you in this place because I know that you will love it. Amazing flavor from the traditional to the more gourmet. Basilic nuts and honey flavor. Wow, so fresh. So this mm. one is mascarpone, beetroot, quinoa and chocolate. And Madagascar is between bitter and, and sweet. Try. I wanna try it. As I said before, the ice cream is perfect and so creamy and so nice and the particular flavor made this ice cream unique. Then the cream on the top for us Italian is always a plus. Mmm, <laughs> che bontà! My favorite for sure is basil, you must try it. Basil flavor. Fede, all good? Catastrofa! They have more than 200 different flavors. Change every season, so every season you can come to visit them to try something new. In this hot day in Rome is what you need. Fata Morgani, Fata Morgana Gelateria. Shar, don't stop, I want to introduce I'm my going, friend. I'm going, going. Come to see my friend. I want to what? introduce you. What is your friend? Giulio. Juan? Giulio is waiting long for us. Oh, ciao, Giulio. Fede, do you know where is the entrance to Colosseum? I don't know. Okay, I will call for Russell. For who? Russell. Who Russell? Russell Crowe, he knows everything here. He has a show tonight, I think. Russell Crowe. Russell, where is the entrance? Between a carbonara and good pizza, we managed to see the Colosseum also. But you know, Char, imagine that in this arena, 2,000 years ago and more, was lions inside. Crazy. <laughs> if you think it's crazy. Yeah. How many steps we did in Rome? Guys, support us, subscribe to Kukes to discover the best in Rome and in all the world. Wow, such an amazing work in the ancient city of Rome. We are in Via dei Giubonari to try the Carbonara of Salumeria Roscioli rated by many guides and of course from locals as unique and one of the best in Eternal City. I see came the bread from their own uh, forno, they are bakery. Even they have salmon from the Scot Scot Scotland, yeah, Scotland salmon, Scottish one. Shar, how many kind of oil they have. Roscioli is a name that unites many situations in a single reality. The restaurant, delicatessen shop, the antico forno, the cafe pastry shop and the wine club. The restaurants offer you classic Roman dishes and all the best from all over the world, with products not only made in Italy, selected in the best way. Important note is to reserve your experience here in Roscioli with many days in advance. Federico is happy, I see. We'll try the carbonara here in Roscioli. Carbonara! Mm. 
So we got our carbonara, it looks amazing. Now we're going to test it. A lot of pecorino, a lot of pepper like must be. Guanciale is cut in cubes. Let's uh, try. First bite, first impression. Mm. Buonissima, char. Then I really love the mezze maniche pasta, short one. You can do like this. You can take all the sauce. Made only with bio, eggs, and the best pecorino romano. Some pepper on the top. There is that spice. I must try in Rome. Mamma mia di guanciale, so crunchy. Guanciale is perfect, sharp. Madonna. Rosciale is the best. Mamma di guanciale, sharp. You must try it. I'm so happy that I have tried this carbonara in Rosciolli Salumeria. We had amazing experience. We chose the short pasta, mezze maniche. You can choose the pasta you love most, also spaghettoni. The cream was perfect. Guanciale was unique. Only 20 for euro for incredible experience. Carbonara plus very good glass of Morellino di Scanzaro. You must visit this place if you want to try one of the best carbonara in town. Hello food lovers again, we are at the Pistachio district where we found this Trapizzino local spot where Several years ago, the classical now street food was born. It's a pizza bread filled with a great variety of Roman traditional ingredients such as nonna meatballs, porchetta, pancetta, amazing variety. So we are curious why and how this street food became so popular. Let's go inside to find out. Scusi, scusa, scusa. Uh, un zucchini alla scapecce e polo alla cacciatore. Waiting by the window, the classic move for street food. You come here at the window, you order your trapezino and they'll bring you. As always, guys, street food and a beer, classic move. Wow! You have the window, they give you on the metal plate two trapezinos I ordered. First one with the chicken. Mmm! The bread, it's so soft. The chicken part is salty and buttery and creamy. So good, really. You can't expect that trapezino could be so good. Another one, zucchini and stracciatella. Mm. That olive oil, zucchini, stracciatella is melting in my mouth. Again, bread is fantastic. I can't resist to this street food, really guys. I owe you one trapezino if you come here and say to Catherine. Guys, we arrive in the kingdom of tiramisu. For anyone who loves this desert, is a must stop. Pompi in Rome. Si go per me da mangiare subito. Uh, they put uh, nice chocolate okay. on the top. Uh, no, uno basta. Hey, grazie. I don't share. <laughs> grazie, ciao. ciao. Buon lavoro. Ciao. <laughs> So good the cream of tiramisu. They have their own style. Biscuit. I don't know if you can see. It's wet in the right way. I like that uh, as I said before, you can uh, try many different tiramisu. It's wet. 
That's what she That's said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, because I choose the classic one, they put a nice crunchy chocolate on the top. For example, if you get pistachio, you get fresh pistachio on the top. The same with strawberry and so on. Pompe is the king of tiramisu. Today we are in a place that bake pizza 60 years already. Ivo Trastevere was one of the first to make pizza in all Roma and for sure the first in Trastevere, this foodie district. Cookest Camera today will try one of the best and famous pizza in all Roma. Guys, she's the scrocchiarella, the original, the crunchy one. Let's go for the first impression. This is a bit gourmet one with the provola, mushroom, guanciale and speck. Mm. Cheese. Cheese. The original one. How's the dough? Fantastic. Perfetto. The pizza chef is 57 years working in this place. All his knowledge to give us the best. Mamma mia, che buono. <laughs> Bello, buono, bro. <laughs> Buonissimo. Ah. Uh, I got uh, the heaven on the table. You got what you didn't ask for. <laughs> uh, my favorite dessert. Tiramisu in Ivo in Trastevere. They said us that this is a must. I understand why. I got large margherita with a nice dark beer for 15 euro in Ivo a Trastevere. You love the traditional Roman pizza, this is a place you must visit, Ivo in Trastevere. Andiamo.